All right, this is um, the third buyer persona. Uh, this is in my own words for the role or the buyer persona called application development executive, for example, a VP, application development vice president. So uh, this is typically a male, uh, again, like the other two, uh, with about 15 to 20 years of experience in the field. He leads a large team of developers uh, who support uh, a line of business. Um, and uh, his career uh, spans a number of roles in different uh, types of organizations and verticals. And his focus is on strategy and providing his team uh, with resources that they need uh, to, sex to be successful. Uh, the focus or his focus is on business challenges and the big picture. Uh, he wants people to be direct and to the point with him because his time is valuable. He's not interested in uh, technical details, uh, but rather the value uh, and the risks on how decisions um, he makes today will benefit the business in the long term. He's uh, found in large enterprises with hundreds of developers. Um, so, you know, you have plenty, uh, a very large IT organization with many different teams with many, you know, developers in each. So these are large organizations uh, where you find uh, VPs of application development. Uh, he manages uh, between five, four and five uh, directors uh, who each manage uh, develop, development managers, uh, who in turn manage developers. Um, he oversees uh, multiple development methodologies uh, because of the existence of uh, legacy systems as well as uh, new types of systems. Uh, however, uh, his goal nonetheless is to streamline uh, delivery to be more efficient and predictable by implementing uh, DevOps processes uh, to automate the building and testing of applications. He reads uh, Forbes magazine, CIO magazine, uh, you know, Bloomberg, and other uh, publications that are related uh, to uh, business and special, especially IT. And, um, you know, the point here is that he, he happens to be a business leader responsible for technology. So, actually, the business could be in IT or not IT, actually. Um, he attends conferences uh, that are organized and delivered by Gardner and Foresters, for example, um, where he can get insight uh, into technology trends and, and how... Um, they Im impact uh, business uh, businesses. As far as motivations, uh, you know the goal, the key goal for a, a VP uh, and of the v executive is uh, predictable business results. Uh, he collaborates with other executives uh, to set strategy uh, and goals uh, for the business, and uh, he leads his team, uh, you know, to help deliver. Uh, the required technology that will allow to to um, to f deliver on this strategy. Uh, his focus is on leading, growing, and improving uh, his team and to better deliver results. His key performance indicators are based, uh, again, on delivering results based on a strategic plan uh, related to budget, schedule, and risk. And finally, the challenges for the Abdev uh, executive are uh, number one, visibility into what his teams are doing. Uh, that's uh, one of the top ones. He typically relies on things like dashboards and, and reports uh, uh, to get insight into how uh, everything is going. And since he spends uh, time uh, most of his time with other executives uh, working on strategic uh, plans and alignment. Uh, he often learns of problems too late. Uh, also, he deals with problems, all, uh, you know, usually when they are escalated to, to his level. So he, he you know, he's not, uh, he doesn't have visibility to every single problem that is happening below uh, in the lower levels of the organization. And finally, like the um, director, he develops uh, 
organizational strategies and plans to secure budget and resources uh, for his team. So this was uh, the last uh, buyer persona called uh, Application Developer, uh, Development Executive, or VP. Um, we've covered uh, the type of person that uh, fulfills this role, um, what uh, motivates him or her, uh, the goals, uh, and finally we cover the top challenges for the um, Application Development Executive. Thank you.